Hi guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Simo King. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor. And today we're going to be going over how to add time codes and timestamps to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll go ahead and close this Lumetric scope over here. And I'll come over here and click on Add New Transparent Video. It's important that you confirm that your sequence settings is the same with what you have. And once you've confirmed that this is correct, you click on OK. Now you drag your selected transparent video and stretch it from the beginning to the end of the clip. Now you can carry the, the time code effect and drag it on top of your transparent video. And now you will notice that from the beginning to the end, we have our time code over here. However, there's a problem we are noticing. You will notice a problem that our video, our time code is not beginning from zero position so what you want to do is to change your time code from media to generate now if you change your time code from media to generate it's going to start from zero now if you hit on play you're going to notice that it's going to be moving from the beginning of the clip if you select clip the time code is going to move on only this clip now when it moves to another clip it's going to stop so if you are trying to add time code to only a single clip you can select the clip that you want, drag the time code on top of that single clip, and then all you need to do is select a single clip, and then that time code is going to move on that single clip. It's not going to, you're not going to have the time code past that single clip. You may want to change the offset. For example, you want it to start some seconds or some minutes faster or before time you come over here and then you change the offset and then it's going to start from that time that you have added onto it so you can also off the field symbol by selecting this you change off the field symbol like that you can label the text by selecting the camera you want if it's a camera one you're trying to take note or you're trying to pass the information to any other video editor you might want to select camera one or camera two so you can have an idea that this video was shot with camera one this is helpful when you when you shot with multi cameras and you're trying to edit a video that was shot with multiple cameras so take that back to none you can also change the size of your time code you can also change the opacity but this does not affect the opacity of the time code itself but the background of the time code so you can see that as we change the opacity over here it affects the background of our time code over here you can also change the position of your time code you have the ability to change the position of your time code as you wish so the next thing i want to show you guys is how to freeze time in adobe premiere pro so for example you have a video that is playing now and the time is reading and you want the time to freeze at a particular position what you want to do is to select your transparent background here that you have added your time code effect to you right click on it and then you nest it once you nest it like that you have nested the transparent video and the time code together into a single clip at a position any position where you want the video to stop moving you can right click and click add frame hold now the moment you do this you can hit on play and then the time code will play but the moment it reaches that frame hold you will notice that it has stopped playing while your video is still moving. That's the simple way of freezing your time code in Adobe Premiere Pro.